Welcome to Transducer and Instrumentation Virtual Lab. Now we are moving towards the experiment number 8, Study of Displacement Transducer. In this experiment, we have three types of displacement transducer. They are Resistive Displacement Transducer, Capacitive Displacement Transducer, and Inductive Displacement Transducer. Now run the experiment through Run tab. Before starting the resistive displacement transducer experiment, I like to tell you about the experimental setup. Here we have a bob which rises up as the water fill inside the beaker. Due to change in the position of bob, joint places, thus giving out change in voltage output due to change in resistance. Thus, change in voltage output will manipulate the change in level of water inside the beaker. Now select the dead level through knob up to which water has to be filled in the beaker. Suppose we want our beaker to be filled at a desired level 6. Then start the experiment through start tab. You can see water is being filled up to the desired level. Once the level matches the desired one, a message is being displayed regarding the completion of task. Now click on the dialog box in the message so that you can again perform the experiment. Graph is also been plotted for the actual level and measured level. You will see that there will be slight difference between the desired level and the measured level due to the error in the least count of scale. Now we move towards the second objective that is capacitive displacement transducer. Principle governing capacitive displacement transducer is different. You can see two plates serving as the capacitors are lying inside the beaker. Now as the water level increases, there will be change in the capacitance value due to the change in the dielectric composition. Here again you can select the desired level through knob up to which you want water to be filled. Suppose we want our beaker to be filled at desired level 4. Then start the experiment through start tab. You can see Water is being filled up to the desired level. Once the level matches the desired one, a message is being displayed regarding completion of task. Now, click on the dialog box in the message so that you can again perform the same experiment. Take the reads at different levels. Graph is also being plotted for the actual level and measured level. You will see that there will be slight difference between the desired level and the measured level due to the error in the least count of scale. Now we move towards our third objective that inductive displacement transducer. Here you can see a slider which is connected to the piston. By moving the slider which is the secondary coil of the LVDT, piston displacement can be controlled Thus, movement of liquid inside the two ducts can be controlled simultaneously. Now you can start the experiment through start tab. Displace the slider and get the corresponding displacement of piston. Graph is being plotted between voltage output and the slider displacement. After completing the experiment, click on the stop tab. I hope you all have understood the purpose and the process of displacement transducer. You can go through the experiment by following the steps given below in the procedure so that you can have a better understanding of the experiment. <coughs> Lastly, I like to say thank to all of you for listening this audio tutorial. Thank you.